we move to the next in the last question also i forget to explain you but in the third when they are asking about the interpretation just write down that it's a positive skewness if the answer is coming in minus that would be a negative skewness so for the interpretation just write down this much moving to the next fourth question the student of standard 11 have uh, collected the data about the profit in crores rupees in it companies find find Carl Pearson coefficient of skewness from the data and interpret it so let's take the information in the book here we can see the observation is normal and even the frequency we can see only the one single highest frequency distribution so before we go to the further first out of the continuous frequency distribution first we'll find out the mid value hope you remember to find out mid value that is just in total of 5 plus 7 divided by 2 that is 6 7 plus 9 divided by 2 you will get 8 9 plus 11 20 divided by 2 that is 10 and keep on going with the calculation because this is the same what we have done in the last question next to find out mean we need a fx that is the multiplication of this two column 5 6 are 30 12 8 are 96 10 into 20 200 8 12 are 96 3 into 14 42 2 into 16 32 and here we get the total 496 so first we'll find out the mean which will be sigma fx the total of fx column divided by n 496 divided by 50 and here we find out the mean 9.92 as you can see there is the only mean uh, only highest frequency in this frequency column but here you can check with the so here we'll find out the mode which where the formula will be l plus fm minus f1 divided by 2 fm minus f1 minus f2 into c now to take the lower boundary point this is the exclusive class aage jo kiya wo inclusive class tha exclusive class matlab 5 to 7, 7 वापस नीचे repeat हो रहा है, 7 to 9, 9 वापस repeat हो रहा है, ये exclusive class है, तो यहाँ पर वो जो मैंने calculation बताया, 0.5 वाला, वो यहाँ पे नहीं करना है, आपको directly ले लेना है, for example, यहाँ पे है highest frequency, ये FM है, ऊपर वाला F1, नीचे वाला F2, उसी के line का observation, directly आपको 9 ले लेना है, as a lower limit, यहाँ पे कोई minus नहीं होगा, directly लेना, when it is exclusive. FM 20, F1 12, 2, FM 20, F1 is 12 and F2 is 8. Into C, the class length that is 9 minus 11 will be 2. So here 9 plus 20 minus 12, 8, 2 into 20 will be 40, minus minus will become plus but the sign of minus will be remain. 12 plus 8 will be 20 into 2 9 plus 8 upon 20 into 2 9 plus 8 2 is 16 divide by 20 9 plus get them divide you will get 0 0.8 now 9 plus 0 0.8 will be 9.8 so that's the mode and here we complete with the mean as the question is asking about the coefficient we need uh, one more column that is for standard deviation which will be sigma fx square upon n minus this time sigma fx ki jaga pe mein directly mean square le rahi okay to fx square ke liye fx multiply by x yani ki ye do column ko multiply karenge 13 to 6 180 8 into 96 768 10 into 200 will be 2000, 96 into 12, 1152, 42 into 14 will be 588 and 32 into 16 will be 512. The total of it will be 5200 which will be, will keep into the formula that is 5200 and is 50 minus the mean is 9.96. Ye formula use why right? So 9.92 whole square. So first let's get it divide you will get 104 minus 9.92 multiplied by 9.92 you will get 98.41 get the minus 
the answer is 5.59 remove the root of it the final answer is 3.36 that is the standard deviation so here the value of mean mode and standard deviation are ready and here we'll find out the coefficient of skewness that is j mean minus mode divided by standard deviation mean 9.92 mode 9.8 and the standard deviation 3.36 first get them subtract you will get 0 0.13 divided by 2.36 and get it by dividing it you will get 0 0.05 that is your coefficient of skewness moving to the next question number five the following frequency distribution gives the amount of annual depreciation in lakhs of 38 companies using the information find skewness and its coefficient of curl psn method so state the types of skewness that is positive or negative but look at the observation first here starting with the discrete then the continuous observation is given continuous frequency distribution and the number of companies will be a frequency so let's take into the table here is the information so out of this obviously it is very clear observation is not normal so here we are going to use the formula to find out will be the median okay so first First, we'll find out the mid value, the correct x, because this is what the continuous is given. Uske liye hume mid value dhunna padega. Discrete to directly copy out kar sakte hain, ki 7, 9 or 10. Mid value ke liye 11 plus 20 divide by 2, you will get 15.5. 21 plus 24 divide by 2, 22.5. 25 plus 36, you will get 30.5. So, after finding mid value, the next step is fx. The frequency can multiply with x. 2 7s are 14, 3 9s are 27, 4 10s are 40, 7 into 15.5 will be 108.5, 12 into 22.5 will be 270, 10 into 30.5 will be 305 and the total of it will be 764.5. So here first we'll find out the mean sigma fx that is the total of fx column divided by n 764.5 divided by m that is 38 and here the calculation 20.12 mean comes in the decimal so standard deviation again we are going to use the same formula in the whole chapter we are using the same that standard deviation formula decimal mein hi sare mean aare aayenge aage bhi to as we can see observation normal nahi hai hum yahan pe median use karne wale. median wala formula use karenge to find out coefficient of skewness median ke liye yahan pe aadha discrete hai aadha continuous hai to yahan pe bada wala formula yani ki continuous wala hi formula hum use karenge to pehle find out karte hain value of n upon 2 so remember continuous ho to aapko ye wala pehle formula use karna hai aur uske base pe bada wala formula rakhenge so value of n is 38 upon 2 the observation so the value of 38 divided by 2 will be 19th observation agar median dhun rahe hain to hame cf wala column chahiye taki ye observation ko hum drag kar sake ki kaun sa formula mein baki ki information usi ke base pe hum find out karenge right to sabse pehle find out kar dete hain cf that would be frequency 2 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 4 that would be 9 9 plus 7 that would be 16 plus 12 28 plus 10 38 so here our cf is ready so yahan pe 19th observation yani ki cf mein jaake dekho ki bhai 19 kahan pe aayega 16 to chota number hai 19 se 28 wale row mein aayega to yahan se drag karte hain and here is the 21 when you find out ab yahan pe hoga hamara bada formula median ke liye that is l plus n upon 2 minus cf upon frequency into c jab aap le rahe ho lower limit aur ye hai hamara lower limit par upar wala number dekho yahan pe 21 dikh raha hai yahan pe 20 to ye same nahi hai exclusive nahi hai ye inclusive aaya right 
तो रिमेंबर एल फाइंड आउट करने के लिए 21 में से माइनस जीरो करना पड़ेगा तो आंसर होगा 20.5 पॉइंट फाइव दैट वुड बी आर लोअर लिमिट सो फर्स्ट टेक इट एज अ लोअर लिमिट ट्वेंटी प्लस एन अपॉन टू अब भी ढूंढा वो है 19 माइनस सी एफ जहां से हमने ड्रैग किया उसके ऊपर वाला नंबर विल बी आर सी एफ दैट इज सिक्सटीन डिवाइड बाई फ्रिक्वेंसी इन द सेम लाइन ड्रैगिंग कम टू द फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉलम दैट इज ट्वेल्व इन टू सी सी के लिए अगेन ये इंक्लूसिव क्लास है तो सी ढूंढने के लिए क्या करेंगे ट्वेंटी वन टू ट्वेंटी फोर है राइट ट्वेंटी वन जो लोअर लिमिट है उससे माइनस करेंगे जीरो पॉइंट फाइव और जो अपर लिमिट है उससे प्लस करेंगे जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ट्वेंटी वन में से माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव दी आंसर विल बी ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विल बी ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव नाउ ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव माइनस विथ ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फाइव दी आंसर विल बी फोर सो दैट वुड बी योर क्लास लेंथ ये हो गया आपका फोर ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव को एज इट इज रखेंगे पहले इतना कैलकुलेशन करेंगे नाइनटीन माइनस सिक्सटीन विल बी थ्री अपॉन ट्वेल्व इन टू फोर ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव प्लस यर थ्री फोर जा ट्वेल्व अपॉन ट्वेल्व कट हो के आंसर रहेगा वन सो ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव Plus one will be twenty one point five. So here we are ready with the median. Next we need is standard deviation. That is sigma f x square upon n minus sigma f x upon n whole square. So for this we will need f x multiply by x. यानी कि ये दो कॉलम को मल्टीप्लाई कर दो. That is four seven into fourteen ninety eight nine into twenty seven two forty three. 10 into 40, 400. 15.5 multiplied by 108.5 will be 1600 into 10 to the power 10 plus 1 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 into 10 to